Hi everyone, we are the group 3A. I am Zara Joyce Arborida. I am Vanessa Diviero. I am Zara Gubat. And I am Ann Iwai. And today, we will discuss our chosen case finding. It's all about a two-year-old fever and bloody diarrhea. Our patient is a two-year-old male with no past medical history presented to the emergency department with fever and two days of bloody diarrhea. The cultured media prepared are the 5% sheep blood agar plate, Macon K agar plate, hectoin enteric agar plate. The 5% sheep blood agar plate is a non-selective isolation media, tryptokase soy agar base, and 5% defibrinated sheep red blood cells. The Maconkey agar plate is a differential media. It is used to isolate gram-negative. Also, it contains lactose, bile salt, neutral, neutral red indicator, and crystal violet. The bile salt and crystal violet, it inhibits the growth of gram-positive. The lactose fermenter, it appears red to red in color while the non-lactose fermenter is clear. The hectoven enteric agar plate is a selective media contain lactose, sucrose, sodium thiosulfate, ferric ammonium citrate, brothymol blue indicator. The carbohydrate fermenters, it appears yellow-orange colonies, and the non-fermenters, green or blue in color. Uh, so, on the 5% blood agar plate, the predominant organism had colonies that appeared to be flattened and spreading, which indicates no hemolysis. Next, please. Uh, on the Maconkey agar plate, Maconkey agar plate is used to differentiate lactose fermenter organism and non-lactose fermenter organism. So in this case, the colonies were noted to be non-lactose fermenting. Ibig sabihin, colorless siya because it is a non-lactose fermenter. Next, please. So when enteric agar plate is used to differentiate salmonella from shigella, so the presence of blue-green with black centers colonies uh, indicates the presence of salmonella and colorless uh, colonies indicates the presence of shigella. Next, please. So, gram staining, uh, it is a procedure used to differentiate gram-positive bacteria from gram-negative bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria is blue or purple in color and the gram-negative bacteria appears to be color pink. So in this microscopic picture, it shows that the bacteria is gram-negative bacilli, which is red in shape and is pink in color and provides a preliminary result. Next, please. So for the laboratory identification, Shigella is a bacterium in the Enterobacteria CA family and is a gram-negative rod that is facultatively anaerobic. So when we say facultatively anaerobic, these organisms have the ability to adapt to more than one oxygen level in the environment, which means that these organisms are able to grow in the presence and absence of oxygen. There are four species of Shigella that are associated with subgroups A to D. In this case, the isolate was identified as Shigella sunae, which is the most common species in the U.S. and comprises subgroup D. So for the, for the other subgroups or species correlations, they are listed in the next slide. So slide agglutination and Tysera test is used to aid in zero grouping. The suspected colony is mixed on a slide with antisera that contains specific antibodies to Shigella. And if 
clumping or agglutination occurs, it is considered a positive result for the specific subgroup. The, again, the organism that was identified in this case was Shigella sonei by the slide agglutination antisera testing. And in addition, Shigella has certain biochemical properties that aid in further identification and confirmation. Next, please. So again, this is the Shigella species, determ the species determination by zero group. Here we have the zero groups from A to D and the associated organisms. For zero group A, we have the Shigella dysenteriae. Zero group B, we have Shigella flexneri. Zero group C, Shigella boide, and zero group D, which is our isolate in this case, is the Shigella sonei. Next, please. For the clinical significance, Shigella is one of the most common causes of bacterial gastroenteritis and is often associated with poor sanitation and overcrowded condition. Shigeliosis or Shigella infection happens with children, but it can also happen to anyone, to travelers because of poor sanitation, to gay, bisexual, and to immunocompromised patient that is commonly person that is infected with HIV. Take note that Shigella can cause disease with as low as 10 organisms present. And it has demonstrated antibiotic resistance and therefore thus undergo susceptibility testing. Shigella is resistant to ampicillin and trimethoprim. And because ciprofloxacin is globally prescribed to people who are, traveled, who are traveling internationally, if, in the, if they have developed the area. So in this drug, Shigella is increasingly resistant. For the route of transmission, Shigella can be spread via fecal oral where the ingested bacteria can survive gastric acidity and will release to stool. Also, it can be spread via person-to-person -person contact and can be sexually transmitted where the common, it common happened to men having sex with men. Also, we have this hemolytic uremic syndrome where it is a complication that may occur with shigella toxin producing shigella. This condition is when the blood vessels of the kidney, or the small blood vessels, I mean, in the kidney is inflamed or damaged, and the blood vessels will have clots that will affect the circulation of blood in the vessels in the kidney and will lead to kidney failure. Hemolytic uremic syndrome often happen after gastrointestinal infection that is caused by Escherichia coli and can also be linked to Salmonella and Shigella, commonly Shigella dysentery. And I think that's the end of our report. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned something. Stay by your safe, everyone.